Today we're going to learn how to measure and design a dust jacket. So first thing, let's find a book. Today we're going to use Supreme Power, um, 18 issue half bind I did with Houchin about a year ago. Um, you can do it one of two ways, both of them the exact same result, so don't worry about which one you do. Uh, first thing we're going to do is use a fabric tape measure. Um, so decide how far you want the flap to go on each side of the, the inside of the book. So we're going to do two and a half inches on each side. So we'll start our tape measure two and a half inches inside the book. I like to put the, the two and a half mark right on the edge of the, the board. Um, that kind of helps you with the wrap portion of the book. And then just measure all the way around the book. Um, in this case, the book's total measurement is 19.875, but we need to know where it stops on each corner. So take a look at your tape measure, two and a half inches, and then nine and three eighths. The spine's one and a quarter, and then the outside front edge gets us to 17 and three eighths inch, uh, two and a half inch total, 19 seven eighths. Um, height of the book's 10.625. The other way you can do it is just use a traditional ruler. Um, you only have to measure a couple things. So first measure the thickness of the board. Um, in this case, the board's an eighth inch thick. And then just measure the front and back covers. They should be the same. In this case, they're six and three quarters inch. Um, and then measure the spine, one and an eighth inch thick. Um, uh, total that all up comes to the exact same number. So both methods um, give you the exact same result. So do whichever one is the easiest for you. Now that you've got the book measured, we're going to go ahead and create the document. We're going to use Photoshop in this case. So first thing, start a new document. Um, put the exact size of the book. We're going to print it on a much larger sheet of paper. So don't worry about bleed or margin. Um, so 19.875 for a width, 10.625 height. We're going to choose 300 here. So you've got our new document. Uh, you want to set up guides to help you with your layout. So um, what I would do is put a guide at the two and a half mark on both sides so that you know where, where your flaps are going to be. Um, place a guide on each edge of the spine. And then you want to place some guides to help you stay away from um, having contents turn the corner or have it trimmed off. So I place a guide a quarter inch on each side of the flap. So each flap is actually going to be two inches of usable space, which is plenty. Um, and then about an eighth inch to a sixteenth, sixteenth inch, depending on the, the thickness of the book on the spine. Um, just so that you, you keep all of your, your content on the spine um, in the middle and it's not right on the edge. It's not kind of curved with the book. So you'll have some guides to help you with your layout. The last step is going to be to design your, your dust jacket. And this can be as much or as little as you want. Um, in this case, we're using the Supreme Power book. So this is the dust jacket I designed for that book. So today we've learned how to measure a book to create a dust jacket and then also how to set up your Photoshop guides to help you design the dust jacket so that you don't lose anything on the trim or on the curve of the dust jacket. Uh, any questions, just let me know. T. Benson at HouchinBindery.com. I look forward to printing and working with anyone on their dust jacket designs. Um, and if you'd like to see future tutorials, also let me know what you're interested in seeing next. Um, we have three finishes for the dust jackets, um, soft touch, which is a, a matte finish, glossy, and a linen. Linen is a heavily textured design, um, and if you'd like help with design, obviously our graphics team can help with that as well. So we look forward to working with you in the future.